Happy 4th of July, everybody. Happy 4th of July, everybody. Loving the enthusiasm. Eddie, you're just loaded up. Hey, well, hold on, hold on. Are you loaded with enthusiasm? Maybe. Do it let's, Give me a woohoo! All right, that's the end of that. Hey, everybody. Prepper Nurse One here. Yes, it's the 4th of July, 2018. Uh, very, very warm day today. And there's Eddie taking Soxie in the house with him. I guess she has no choice. What's that? It's a kidnapper. kidnapper, right? So, uh, first of all, just wanted to wish everybody a very happy Fourth of July. Please, guys, be safe, be responsible, don't drink and drive. You know, be smart tonight. Um, cops are out there in droves, just looking to jam people up. So let's be smart. If you're going to drink, that's great. Have a good time. Get as loaded as you want to, but just don't drive, okay? So anyway, um, here's the pups. Chilling out in the shade because it's freaking 92 degrees here again today. Very, very warm. Uh, so anyway, I wanted to talk about, real quick, about barter items and, you know, adding to preps. Okay, I'm, I'm always, all the time, adding to my preps. Hello, Luce. So, but I'm also looking for barter items, okay? So, one of the things that we just picked up, picked this up just the other day, is a Dutch oven. I've wanted one of these, the cast iron with the lid. Um, I, I've, I've wanted to grab one. Haven't seen them. I've been, you know, scouring, you know, garage sales, everything else. Like most of my cast iron that I got, I've gotten from those type of things. But I really wanted to get um, one of these. So we were at Walmart, and so I grabbed it. Okay, so that's why I grabbed that there. All right. So one of the things I wanted to talk about was barter items. Now this here actually, the amaretto, that's for grandma. Grandma loves to have amaretto and ginger ale. So I picked up a bottle for her when she comes back. She's coming back up next week. Uh, the Kahlua is for white Russians. And uh, then, but these here, all right, these here are cheap vodkas. They're like $10 a piece. Uh, that I won't drink. That's going to just get put away for bartering. After SHTF, if you have alcohol, um, that's going to be a huge thing for uh, as a barter item. For getting something that you want, you know, for a trade, that's going to be perfect, okay? Um, I drink Absolute. That's my vodka that I drink if I'm going to drink vodka, which I do have some. But, uh, you know, as far as trade value, those things are going to be great for, for trade. And that's why I picked those up. Like I said, they were ten dollars a piece. So you really, you know, if you get a chance to pick up some, some, you know, alcohol cheap, that's the way to do it. Because after SHTF, alcohol is going to be alcohol. And if you have anything that was made before, everything is going to be from stills and stuff like that. You're going to have some good stuff to work with. Okay, so that's uh, that's a smart thing to do as far as that part goes. Uh, I picked up this pan here. Uh, this was only five dollars. So just trying to add on more stuff like this and then I picked up this bowl now somebody had tried to sell this at a garage sale for seven bucks I don't know if you guys can see that wasn't able to sell it gave it to the Salvation Army and I picked it up for four so uh, I wanted to have another bigger bowl so that's why I grabbed that so that's what we did um, was that oh I know the one lady was like well that's a perfect bowl to make meatloaf I said, how big of a meatloaf are you going to make? I said, I'm actually thinking more of a fruit salad type of thing. So the tarp is off of the camper now. I'm gonna go, we're going to go up here real quick, and I'm going to show you this. Uh, we got some water damage inside. There was, right here, I, I taped it up for right now. Uh, I have uh, the tar that I have, and I'm going to hit these seams up through here. But there was a nice hole right underneath here and we were getting a lot of water damage so we actually I bought a piece of uh, Luan for the ceiling underneath here we're gonna have to gut in the bedroom in there and clean everything out and uh, redo it the one wall has got some water damage too so that's also gonna come out so we're gonna be working on that next week we're supposed to have a nice stretch of five six days like we're supposed to get an 80 percent chance of rain here tomorrow okay so I wanted to get up here, get this cleaned off, find out, I knew there was a hole, so I, I just taped it over for right now. Like I said, just used good old American duct tape, love duct tape. Um, so that's a good thing to, you know, get that squared away at that point. 
took the whole tarp off of there and uh, we're just going to kind of go from there and uh, hopefully we can get it so and I'm going to reseal everything as well up here the whole roof I have another bucket of the stuff so I'm going to reseal this entire roof but uh, you know just to get this part squared away to figure out where the hole was which like I said it was here and get that taken care of okay so that's what I was doing earlier today but yeah, the water damage is not great inside the camper. We got to get that fixed. And I said that's that's a thing that I can't put off any longer. So those were up on top. So anyway, so we're gonna go in here real quick. Uh, yesterday we ended up pulling in 7.1 kilowatt hours on the day, which uh, for this year is a is a a record for this year. Last year we pulled in. I had one day where I pulled in 7.2. So let's see where we're at so far today. Okay, so right now this is at 3.0, and this one is at 3.1. So we've already pulled in 6.1 kilowatt hours today, so that's actually pretty good, and we're still pulling in power at a good clip, actually. I'm looking at those. Okay, so um, we'll see what we end up with today, but not too shabby. All right, so, but having items that you can use for barter is real important. And it could any, be anything, guys, from toothpaste to soap to shampoo. Here's the thing is, after an SHTF event, people are going to want to have something that reminds them before everything went to crap. They want normalcy, okay? So if you can give them something that makes them feel normal, uh, taking a bar of soap and washing yourself, it, it's psychologically it is such a huge thing that people a lot of people don't think about that type of thing uh, you know being able to wash your hair shampoo your hair those are things that are gonna really make people remember what it used to be like and stuff like that before everything went to crap okay so having things like that that you can use razors razor blades okay uh, those type of things those are gonna be real real important because people like I said they're gonna want normalcy they're gonna want things that remind them of when things were good before everything went to crap that's what they're gonna want okay so last night I wanted to show you guys this Heather and I came into the garden uh, we watered late last night but we weeded this whole area right here and it actually only took us about a half an hour to be honest with you now we have some more weeding to do but uh, we got this part squared away and so that I just it was really the weeds were starting to take over in here but I wanted to show you let's see let's go in here I think I got one of the squash are almost ready but we got a lot of blossoms in there I'm trying to walk through here without crushing the plants okay I got that one squash right down in there you can see it I think that one's about ready, so I'm going to be pulling that out of there shortly. But uh, we got a lot of squash coming up. Over here, these guys, or all four of these, I believe, are cucumber. So now they're climbing up the thing, just like I hoped that they would. Uh, these are over here. You can see them starting to develop their squash. So I don't know if we got any in here or not. But... Uh, and then tomato plants are doing fantastic. We got the zucchini here, right through here. These are the um, potatoes, so they're doing well. And like I said, then we got the the squash. And actually, let me see this one here. Yeah, it's getting there. Okay, I should pull that one off. Let's do that. There. There we go. First squash out of the garden. So we got a lot more going to be coming too. Maybe we'll cut that up and cook that up tonight. But, uh, so yeah, that's what we're doing here. We're just, uh, you know, working on things methodically, trying to get things done. But like I said, I wanted to get in here and, and weed in the garden as I'm dropping my squash. All right. Okay, so... That's what we're focusing on, like I said. Um, I want to hear what your guys' take is on as far as uh, bartering items. So what do you think is important to have as bartering items after SHTF? Now, the number one thing, obviously, 
is going to be food and fresh water. If you have food and fresh water, you're going to be a very rich person after an SHDF event, okay? Especially food. Um, water, you can get water, you can purify water, anybody can do that, but food is going to be paramount. Uh, a lot, a lot of people are going to have food. So, that's important to think about. I want to hear what your guys' suggestions are. What do you think are good things to stock up on for an SHTF event? Uh, so, share that with us in the comments. Um, remember guys again, I'm going to say it real quick, uh, we got the sale going on right now on the website PrepperNurse1.com, 20% off everything until the 7th, at the 7th on midnight, which is Saturday, um, at midnight the sale will be over, okay, so 20% uh, off of anything that you purchase on the website, be it anything from Legacy Foods to uh, any of the merchandise that we have on there, t-shirts, coffee mugs, bumper stickers, um, all those type of things, okay? So anyhow, so that being said, oh, and here's the, what we're going to be doing too here, hopefully in the near future. I want to do a giveaway of uh, some of the merchandise that we have on the website. So I'm going to, once we get that really going, I will do a giveaway on that. And just, it's another way of just my appreciation to you guys. Um, today, we should cross over 38,000 subscribers. Uh, I plan on doing a really nice giveaway when I hit 50,000 subscribers, okay? So we're definitely going to be looking at doing something like that for a nice giveaway once we hit 50,000 subscribers. And honestly, at the rate we've been going, it shouldn't be that long. Um, it's been fun, guys. It's been really enjoyable. It's been, you know, with, with the channel growing and stuff like that, and like I said, we're able to get more things done here. You know, and, and, and like I said, anything that I make, actually goes back into the property and helps support us. So that's what it's all about, you know. Uh, you're not going to see a big $50,000 vehicle in my driveway. That's not to me, that's not what's important, okay. Um, actually, when this truck dies, my Santa Fe dies, uh, if I can pick up something for two, three thousand dollars that's cash and I don't have to worry about a car payment, that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to have to see what happens with that. But that's what I'm looking at. I, I don't, you know, I don't put on airs. I'm very down to earth. I'm what you see is what you get. Okay. Um, it is freaking scorching hot out here. So I'm going to jump off of here for right now. I think it's about four o'clock in the afternoon now too. So uh, I want to remember, guys, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. Oh, to get to 20% off, let me just say it real quick. Um, the 4th of, 4th of July, um, it'll be right in the description when you go to the website. You'll see it on top. But uh, the J July 4th, July 4th, you get the 20% discount when you check out. Type that in for your discount code, and you'll get your 20% off when you check out. So anyway, um, you know, STD, guys, it's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's ever going to stop you from getting there is yourself, okay? Remember that. That's so important, and a lot of people don't think about that, but it's real, real important. So remember, hang in there. Please be safe tonight, guys. Don't drink and drive. Just be smart, okay? I will talk to you all tomorrow. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.